Hey guys, so today we're going to be playing Heroes and Generals, which is a World War II super realistic simulation game, but it's free, which is really cool. Also, my voice is going to be shaky for a while. I'm doing a medication, so that's why I sound like this, but it shouldn't really be a problem. Which, in this game, I'm pretty, f like, I'm pretty far, I've got some pretty good weapons, but it's, like, it's entirely historically accurate, there's no things where it's, like, it's not like in some games, like, for instance, um, oh, never mind, I, that vid I didn't film that video on this channel, but it's not like you, up you just press an upgrade button and your gun instantly does more damage and stuff, you have to buy the different attachments, the different, or not attachments, but you have to change out triggers, uh, the barrel, stuff like that, springs, all that, scope, everything, you have to change it out, just like on a real weapon in order to upgrade, in order to make your weapon better. Which I'll show you in a second. It's also extremely realistic, the only thing that doesn't really- oh yeah! So every- so instance, this one lasted for 16 days, but wars happen in this game where it starts with a map. It shows a map and you can see which countries own which areas and they're spreading and when two countries hit each other, they there's a battle and then the players go into that battle and do whoever, whichever country wins said battle, they push into the other country's territory. Which means that it actually has like real war physics with a live map and everything. So, Due to my marksman nature, which you guys might not know about, but in most games, I'm a very, very good shot. I'm, a, I'm an excellent shot. So, I've chosen to be a recon, and as well as I chose Germany, and the only... And so the badges are pretty much the only thing that defy real f logic. And they just change... Um, they just change some statistic. So, anyway, so my recon character, this is his rifle. I'll just show you. So, I have it painted to be a little better camouflage with the Dunkel Draw paint, which should keep me pretty well concealed. The barrel, I've chosen the Scout 2, which decreases stability and precision, but it increases damage and range, which is pretty good. And then I have a heavy bolt for my spring, which it doesn't decrease the rest of the by that much, but it increases damage by a lot. Uh, Trigger-wise, I haven't gotten anything yet, but I'm planning on getting one soon. Uh, sight, I have the German number 4 reticle on my 8x scope, which looks like that. Uh, and ammunition-wise, I have the Anschluss Patron, which it decreases stability, but it increases everything else. Yeah, and it's best and it's got good damage over range as well. Okay, and then pistol-wise, this is my little pistol, which I'm actually about to, I'm going to upgrade right now. Is this one the better one? Uh, I'm actually, normally I would, if I had more, like you have in equipment points, so it's depending on the amount of space you have in your inventory. Now the reason why it's full right now is because my rifle, I've taken two ammo pouches as opposed to the normal one. Otherwise it would only take up five slots and then my pistol just takes up one, but all the other pistols take up two. So that's why I have this one, and really pistols aren't all that great unless you get a headshot anyway. Unless you're using a really good pistol, but those take up too much space. So I can't buy a trigger yet, but I think I have... Yeah, I think I have everything else I want for my gun. Yeah, so I'm going to get the chrome line barrel, which will help, and then I need to- I can't do- also, weapons take damage, so in here for instance, as well as you have to pay f so you have to pay for repairs and for reloads. No! Um... And so, let's join this journey. And so, I can show you the war map right now. So, anyway, but let me show you the soldiers. So, first of all, we have infantry, which this is my 
first soldier. He's pretty well set up. He does own this, which I'm actually going to re-equip that. Because I'm still a marksman, and, even, and I don't have any good guns for my infantrymen yet, so... So you have infantry, you have recon, you have pilots, like fighter pilot. So you can choose, you know, a weapon. Which in this case, he doesn't have anything at all, which means he's automatically equipped with a shovel, which is a melee weapon. And he has this plane, and that thing there. Then we have paratrooper, which I barely used. Uh, and then we have tank, tank crewmen. And so all these dudes just get put in. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into Battle's Recon. So there's different boats. I do more because it actually contributes to the battle. So this is the map I was talking about. This is Germany, this is America, and this is Russia. Now I know there wasn't, there was not only three nations in the war, in World War II, but those are the countries that are playable. Um, and as you can see, Russia's doing pretty well. But so are we. We're, normally the way it kind of goes is both Russia and Germany kind of wreck America, and then Russia wrecks Germany. But it all depends, because keep in mind, a single kill that you can make in this game could hit that person. If you hadn't killed that person later in the battle, they could have killed a considerably more, a bunch more people, or even a really important person, or something like that, and could change the course of the entire battle, which in turn could change the course of the entire war. So you, every everything makes a difference. Now, the problem is, depending on how many people are playing the game, different battles might take longer to do. Can I queue for a battle in general? Questions, can I just go into a battle for you? Probably not. I don't think that's how that works. Okay, you can tell that Russia is really good. We have to have 15 cities, and it looks like the Soviets have been downed by four. So, we really need to push. I haven't done any general stuff. Oh, already? Okay. Great. So, this kind of battle, you have a bunch of capture points, and you're trying to capture these two middle ones and one team will have them, so in this case, um, in this case, I think we're being attacked. Yeah. So we're holding these points, but the goal is to keep said points till the end of the battle, and or push all the enemies back and kill them all off. Because the, these act as respawn points as well. So, the goal is to hold these as well as push back the enemy as much as we can. It looks like I have a I have a rank 14 recon as my squad leader. Oh yeah, you can also deploy with vehicles. For this case, I have an R75 with sidecar, which I realize now I should have been repaired last battle. Hopefully that's not going to pose a problem. I guess I just won't use it because I don't want it to break. I don't know what happens when things break. Oh, actually, no, I do. I was playing with the dude a while ago and his trigger broke and I heard his fire rate drop. Just plummet. Because the trigger helps increase fire rate by a lot most of the time. Okay, so I, my next move I plan on saving up money as- Oh yeah, everything has badges. And the more you do a thing, the higher rank your badge on that thing gets. So in this case I have to get driver 6th grade. So the grades go like this. You have First grade is single bronze star, then second grade two bronze stars, then three bronze stars, and four bronze stars, the one silver star, the two silver stars, the three silver stars, the four silver stars, then one gold star, the two gold stars, and three gold stars, and four gold stars. Which means there's a total of 12 grades in everything. So I need to get sixth grade, which is two silver stars, in order to unlock this wrench, which you can use to repair vehicles. Fighting America. That is 
sometimes America, sometimes some of the American soldiers are really good. It just depends on how I get patched up with them. Day, it's slightly cloudy, but the visibility is okay. I'm glad. Okay. So, this is about food right here. Okay, now where do you spawn? I guess I'll we'll spawn with my. Oof. You gotta, gotta wait for all the textures to load. At least my internet's okay enough that the textures are loading pretty quickly. Not great though. Okay, I think we're capturing this. Oh yeah, you can't whistle. Oh, there's some mines over here. There's a lot of soldiers here. Okay, and you can tell that we're capturing it now. Watch your enemies. <laughs> the fact that I have full game. Huh. Okay. Those are the enemy in the tree. You can see if you can spot them and the little arrow will pop up above their head, but that arrow doesn't follow them, so if they move. I have my gun set up. It can one-shot anybody unless I hit them in the foot or they have a heavy set badge, which makes it so that the heavy set go but they have to have gold rank <coughs> on their heavy set badge. <coughs> and gold and what heavy set does is it makes you only take what ninety percent of the damage as opposed to the you know the full amount. Or if I hit him in the foot then they'll die, but that's it. I just, just gotta hope that there's... You gotta hope. I'm pretty good with... Also, you have to learn to leave your shots, because bullets have travel time. So it's, there's an amount of time for the bullet... From the bullet leaving your gun and the bullet hitting the target. And the scopes are adjustable. So you can adjust them to whatever range you're at. You can just burn them up here. No, no, there's a kill cam, kill, so if you get killed, they can see you. So unless they're really, really far away, they can tell. So you can see my scope as opposed to having a normal finder that's like, you know, the most widely known thing. I have chosen the number four. Okay, just out of leash. I don't know where all the enemies are. Ooh, what was that? Aha. And he got rid of her. Okay. What is for me? So we should follow up that field because we've got the soldiers on the harness to fight because they tend to be extremely far away for obvious reasons. The problem is my pistol doesn't do that much damage. So. Ah! Okay. Well, we don't now. We're opening fire. That hurt. Okay. Let's see. This one here. Probably losing it. I think. Uh, yep. yep. There he goes. Oh yeah. yeah if, if we're if, if you're in the spawn area, then you can't see it. Oh crap, that's, that's that means that there's an enemy transport over there. There. Okay. And, and the, the squad leader can issue commands. Oh god, we lost them too. That's not good news. Keep an eye out for enemies. I know we've lost it too, and that's crucial, but I can really take it back. Yeah, I bet they take a while. Watch the road. When they spawn, they have to come down the road in order to get here. Okay, we're taking control. Somebody just bombed. That's a body. Somebody got shot down.
Some pokes their head out, I will kill them. But I don't think we're gonna have a chance. I think they're gonna take it to the back. There's no point trying to get there either. Uh, Ow. Uh, Ow. Dang, this isn't going well for us. Oh well. Oh, so they pushed into our territory. Okay, so. We lost 98 soldiers. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, everybody's chatting. I think this is the whole nation chat. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Oh, let's get my... No, like I was saying before, it takes money to repair vehicles. As you can see. And if you have auto repair on, you can choose what currency it uses. 
Am I? I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna. Not camouflage. But, well, actually, I can look into this box now. I don't have the money, but I can look at it at least. I think I like what I have. It's pretty good general use. Okay. Um. It might be a good idea to equip. Let's see. That's getting useful. I'll do that. Now, I should be able to kill dudes with heavy set. I don't know how much that actually increases. Heavy set. I have heavy set silver. Which means I need to take 90% of the damage. Look at my protection on the badge. So that's how much I would have to pay to complete the badge, but that's how close I am. It's this. Very funny. Faster to keep your recovery than complete. Okay, now we wait. Sometimes you wait for a while in this game. By the way, if anybody wants to play this game with me, totally ask, because we can do this. It's a fun game, it's easy to do, and it's free, so I don't have to worry about money. I think it's kind of dumb that uh, the weapons that your character is holding don't change when like over here by when you upgrade your gun and stuff but whatever as you can see my infantryman still has one extra spot in equipment but you can only get a 1.9 times scoop for the infantryman so he can't really work as a sniper. Oh god. Oh, you can unlock the false Mega Gewehr. Not- Oh, that's actually really useful. I didn't know that was a thing. So you have to do a crap ton of parachuting in order to unlock it, but... And you do, you do river training. Interesting. Yeah, but it'll take ages. Interesting. The Falls Gamega Gewehr, um, for infantry. It's all the way down here, and in order to unlock it, you have to have the specialist grade on it, 11th grade. See where that's an issue. So you either have to pick it off of a soldier that had one and use it a whole, whole ton, which will take ages if you're even lucky enough to find a soldier that has one, or, which is, I think this is what they expect you to do, you have to pay the money to upgrade your metal all the way to, the, to this here. <laughs> Interesting. <clears throat> and this is the battle reports, which will say how much I've had to pay. Yeah, you can see how much I have to pay, as well as how much I earned. I've had, I had a really expensive battle here somewhere. I don't know what I did. Yeah, that 
Well, Savannah is just a <laughs> different guy. Okay, let's see the map. Oh, interesting. So this is a different type of battle. There's only three points, and they don't go in lines. Fascinating. Well, not really. I've seen this map a lot. Just not normally we do the assault battles, which is the ones that have the different branches coming off the center. This might not end well for me if, since we're fighting with Soviets. It's just a question of who can hold the points long. So in this case, you're just trying to hold. You're just trying to have the most points by the end of the battle, and you get a certain amount of points every second by half a lot. Bleh, by holding a base. So if you're not holding a base. You're you know, so if you hold, if you're holding one base, say you get like one point per second. If you're holding two bases, you get two points per second, stuff like that. So, I'll just take off my list. Okay, now I shouldn't be shaking so much. I finished my medication. Okay. Yeah, so this is a capture and hold. And it's not gonna have planes or any of the crazier units. It, I think it, wait, let's check. Do we have, I think we have everything but planes. And, okay, and the battle hasn't started yet. Okay, let's see. Oh boy. We got some high-ranking enemies. Uh, they don't have any recon, though. At least, unless the OTE squad is one. Okay. Oh. Texas now, this isn't my ideal motorcycle. I prefer to have the Kenton Crad, which is a tank track motorcycle because you can put an ammo crate on it as well as. as well as, as, well as it never flips over and it's a lot more durable and stuff. So that way you can camp somewhere really far off the map and not have to worry about running out of ammunition. Plus it's still fast, it still is the speed of a motorcycle. So it's still good to Okay. Okay. from behind us. Crap. Yeah, this isn't going well for us. Uh, wow, both those Kugel wagons just filled up. Okay. I guess I'll spawn my... I, I think I might be able to Normally we're in the other spawn area. Oh, stay low. Plus, if I get 
spot is kind of screwed because it takes a while to stand up. So I guess I'll just go there. I should have used my pistol then. Oh well. Problem is my pistol takes like five shots to kill people. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, there's a field maintenance load, so it takes a little while to spawn in if you're a higher ranking unit. Okay. Okay, it still works. Are you been spotted? Uh, 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 didn't take long. Oh well. Yep. That is the problem. That sucks. Not only can you use it to repair vehicles, but it also can be used as a melee It can also be used as a melee weapon. You know, you hit somebody over the head with it. Also, headshots always kill, no matter what. That's the great thing about this game. And plus, there's no real way to get more health than anybody else unless you have a heavy set. But otherwise, yeah, so. Wait. I don't know I, I, I don't want this gun, but I'm gonna get it, I guess, because well I'm gonna unlock it, I'm not gonna buy it though. It's not worth it for me. I think I might get mines at some point. I think or no, maybe just grenades. Actually yeah, why not, right? We'll save it for a grenade. And then that way I'll have a way to clear out areas and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, but I'm not an experienced soldier. But it's probably, probably a badge for it. Wait, wait two, two equipment points? Oh, you. Okay, okay never mind. I bet the mines don't take up that much. How much does the S1 take up? Oh, it also takes up two? Look at this. Really? All the all the explosives take up two slots? No. Huh. Well, that one takes up three. Which makes sense. It's a freaking journey. So I guess we're not going with any explosives. Mainly wise, I guess we're just going to. Yeah? Mom, I'm recording a video! What? But at the same time, 
can, like, I don't know how much damage I can fall out of those, because it doesn't say here, even though it should, I think. <clears throat> but I feel like it should at least damage. My guess is the big fall bat does do the most damage, but it's probably not that great. Sound. That's the German or the Russian one. That's the Russian version. Hold on, let me show you. So the first one that you unlock is on is the Vulcan. Like you, you can buy the shovel immediately. Uh, the Vulcan Stalin is the Russian version of the the spade, the Schnauzik spade, and then you have the American shovel. Then you have the German knife, you have the baseball bat, and then you have the s the American knife, and then you have the Soviet knife. Uh, I personally love the looks. I love the look of the German knife. It's super cool. It looks a lot like a trench, uh, like a uh, trench spike. If you guys remember what it looks like, you can look it up. It's, but it, it has, has a similar, similar feel to a trench spike. It's just it doesn't have the uh, knuckles on it. Sorry about getting deaf in there. This is taking longer than it should. I don't have really any editing software, otherwise I would edit out all the weight, but if I had editing software, then I would just cut this whole chunk out. Don't think I'd do. That's why I wait. Hmm. Hmm. My friend's calling. I didn't even check the- okay, we're doing assault against America. And it hasn't even started yet. That's good. <clears throat> Motorized assault. Motorized recon. Okay. Let's see. Where do we want to spawn? Okay, I guess I'll spawn in here with my R-75. Thank you. 
Coming up this road. I guess I'll prone on the roof. The thing is, foliage moves, so you, so sometimes. Oh, did it come? Got him. <laughs> Worth it. And we got the other dude. I love shooting people off vehicles. It's probably. The one time I had shot a dude off the motorcycle at like 800 meters or something like that, and I didn't even have a scope up there. Oh, they're taking- oh, oh. oh, I missed. Cost money to swamp them in a so I need to stop that. Focus on the I just gotta keep worming sideways here. Well, what are we moving? Songs. Oh, he spotted one apparently. Around that wall. I know we're losing a point, but I'm gonna get this dude. Let's see. Are we retrieving you two? Enemies here though, and I want to take them. We'll have an easier time pushing in if we. Okay, we got more infantry. this point. I won't be able to get there in time, I'll just keep... My hopes are that nobody else is here, and they won't be able to know because they still have that point, so they have moved. There's probably people here. Who's moving around? We officially lost this whole line, I think. Yep. That sucks. 
Well, we're not even close enough to anything. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Cut and cut. This is this is what it is. Yeah, I think there might be a radio, like a radio somewhere around here, something like that. Dang. Oh, did we get him? Nope, you just shot him in the foot. Let's see if he shows his face. Just recalibrate his sight. Let's wait for him to hear his face. Oh, I thought there was an enemy driving by, and I was like, okay, I need to shoot. Oh boy, the models are being super glitchy. I guess so long as I can see through the scope, right? <laughs> Must be on the other side of that hill. I have no idea if we're taking that. I don't even know where my squad mate is. Do we have a Yeah, my squad mate's somewhere. Where is he? I have no idea what's happening right now. Hold on. I'm here. Where's my squad mate? Nowhere. I have no idea where my squad mate is. Oh, I see a car. I don't think I'm going to be able to get in position. Yes. So many over there. I don't know that there's two enemy snipers trained on their position. <laughs> Something about my position on this wall is jacking up my model.
think the reason why I hit high is because my scope was still calibrated to 200 meters. And it wasn't that far away. We got him, okay. Wow, this dude's a good shot. I'm not even getting a chance to hit the targets. Did he stop? Stop! Oh. Okay. Well. Well, I guess that's it for today. Reach the hour mark. Okay, see ya, I guess.